Loco Force here, welcome to the second layout update for my micro layout, which is a uh, Croes Roswin. Uh, a lot of progress has been made since the last video, uh, as the last video on this was a good few months ago and it was literally just a basic board. Um, so, board's been painted in grey, uh, me and my girlfriend did that, and as you can see, you know, a fair bit of scenic process. I can't even talk, guys, it's been a while since I made a video. Um, but yeah, so I've actually run out of scenery. All my scenery is used up here. Um, so I don't know when this is gonna be continued. Um, I've been taking a bit of a break from trains. I haven't bought anything new. I've got a couple projects planned, but I don't know when we're gonna do them. As you can see, I do run trains occasionally, but um, I've just been taking a break to sort of conserve my money because whenever I end up uh, running trains, I end up spending like 200 pounds on trains and I'm running out of cash. Uh, so I'm sort of gonna give it a break um, uh, until I have my own place, which should be by the end of this year. But um, yeah, I haven't got any sort of income at the moment uh, doing online learning for A-levels. So yeah, just not getting any money basically. So I'm taking a little bit of a break. I'll pop up the video every now and then. I've got a couple that have already been made um, or they've already been recorded quite a while back. So they'll be up at some point, but uh, yeah. So anyway. Um, this was the first bit of scenery that was done. This was a uh, little bit of an abandoned siding tutorial I copied from St. Michael's Hill. Doesn't look anything like it because, again, I have quite limited uh, funds and resources to make this. But uh, the rails are painted into a rust colour. The sleepers were painted grey uh, to look like bleached or whatever. And then a couple bushes were added on. I think it looks alright. It doesn't really blend in with the other abandoned siding. But from a distance, like, it looks alright, I guess. Uh, the ballast is a different shade as well. Um, so as you can see, this entire siding, I just don't know why, I just decided to do it completely abandoned, completely overgrown, totally destroyed, basically. I ballasted this using old ballast that I used when I tore up the layout. Uh, this area in the middle, uh, I tore that up and I've used that here, which is why it's sort of bits of cardboard and other bits of crap. So I'm gonna paint it at some point with gray. But at the moment, it just looks like spoil, and that is sort of the idea. So you can see the line would have used to have gone up here somewhere. Then there would have been a point that went into that siding. But yeah, I've just sort of done the rough shape in the ballast, uh, the spoil, whatever. And I've just put down a couple bits of garbage, like old signs and box lids, signals, and various other bits of crap that I had lying around. And some old, sig uh, what are these called? Some old signs, basically. And there's a cool little stop I did here which is based off one uh, on the Heathfield branch line. It's literally just a sleeper that they put on the track to stop the trains going any further. And then there's also a 15, not that the speed limit here would actually be 15 because they would crash. Uh, this area in the middle here, this is just covered in mud. It's real mud I got from my garden. It's the cheapest way to do it. It looks quite good, I think. And I quite like the scene down the end here. I think it looks fairly good considering I'm only using Hornby bushes. I'm quite proud of how it's turned out. I've got a buffer stop that needs a little bit of repainting at the end there. As you see, the backdrop is a Japanese city. Don't ask why. I was in a sort of phase when I was like, oh, I'll get some Japanese trains, and then I stopped. But I've put up that there, and I'm probably going to keep it there. I think it's just quite a cool little backdrop. Um, this is supposedly set in Wales, but to be honest, I change my mind so often that it's fine having that. And then this bit of the back here will be like a dockyard scene, preferably somewhere in Bristol or Newport Docks maybe. Depends what I can find really. But as you can see, I've stuck the graffitied um, uh, corrugated iron, is that what it is? Corrugated iron wall from um, Scale Model Scenery. Got my building at the back here, put a Japanese brand on there when I was going through my little Japanese phase, but I think that still works within the UK. I don't see why not. I'm assuming this brand exists in the UK, it might not. Um, but yeah, this is my, one of my favourite buildings. Well, it's my only building, actually. Did the graffiti on it. I think it looks quite good. Quite happy of how that came out. 
uh, and then this is the operational line at the back here I don't know if it'll actually run I haven't tested it it's more of a static model to be honest um, but judging by how gummed up these points are I doubt it'll work um, but yeah so future plans will be a, possibly be a platform in here I need to put a bridge that goes over here put some more graffiti on that have some cars on the top use uh, one of my badger line buses um, I haven't got any wood left to make the platform that's why I haven't done that yet um, and yeah there'll be some more corrugated along the back back scene and then another building that's all it will be basically the signal box will be quite graffitied I've already got a signal box but I'm probably going to repaint it um, so yeah and I'll probably put the name along the front here and then that'll be that done might try and flog it for like 50 quid I've tried selling this before but didn't get any luck but um, it's not finished so that's fine really um, but yeah this is going to be my project if I finish it before I move out then that's just what happens but if not it's what I'm going to be working on until I have a house um, when I have my own garage and can build my own layout so who knows how long that's going to take but yeah I'm quite happy with how this has gone um, so yeah um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye for now